The white sturgeon of the upper Columbia River is an endangered species. But I've just hit the jackpot. He's struggling. I'm with Larry Hildebrand and his team, and we've caught a beautiful adult fish. The question is, is it a female? Oh, it's big. The only way to find out is to examine the fish surgically. So while the guy set up the OR, I make sure the fish isn't stressed. This is a beautiful fish. And just that classic slender sturgeon shape, these big fins. Yep. It's almost like wings. The fish is almost using these fins like wings to it orient itself into the current. But when these fish feed, I mean, they almost look like a fighter pilot, don't they, with their pectoral fins out? They do, Just yeah. flying through the water. Historically, sturgeon get much of their food from the ocean. Uh, in the lower there. system of the Columbia, they actually do go into the, the salt water, the brackish water area for feeding, Generally depending on, on what food resources yeah. are available. But this fish here has no chance to get down to the this ocean. This fish here has never been to the ocean. Because there's 14 dams between here and the, and the Pacific? Yes. This population had to adapt to being cut off from that rich ocean diet which might explain why the fish I've seen here are smaller than I expected. The team is ready. First, we'll get the basics. Can it slip out? Will it slip out the back? No. Weight, length, and girth. This information goes into a database that monitors sturgeon caught on the Columbia. 125, uncorrected. 125, 125 pounds. pounds. Subtracting the weight of the stretcher, that makes this fish 115 pounds. Size 14 hook. Size 14 hook. It's okay there. Okay, I'm gonna come on the boat. Okay. Checking for a pit tag. Okay. This is a new fish, we haven't handled it before. No tag. No tag. No tag. We need to get a measurement length. here. You need to get a fork length yeah. on this. So Zeb, why don't you hold that right at the tip of the snow? Okay. Brad does. I'm gonna take it out a bit. Okay, fork length is 177. 1.77 meters, almost exactly six feet. It's a mega fish. But that's the problem. All the wild sturgeon here are adults. So, so there have, there's been no reproduction. These fish, these large adult fish, have not been able to reproduce since the dams went in the 1960s. Exactly. They haven't been able to reproduce enough young to replace themselves in the population. And that means the population of these large individuals is declining every year. Getting older, this is aging, getting older and older. They can't, these fish can't reproduce. Eventually, they could go extinct. Exactly. The dams on this river have interfered with the sturgeon's ability to reproduce. What I want to know is how. Check it out. So I'm just going to disinfect the area right now. I'm hoping that this fish will give me a clue. It's remarkably calm. They are but every once in a while they will explode. <laughs> yeah, okay. The skin on these fish is quite thick, so I make a, a very shallow incision. Just to allow me to grab on, yeah. and then I can lift the body wall away from the organs just to be a little safer. So you've gone through the skin and now you're going The fish seems muscle. calm and the procedure is sterile, you know, just, but we have to work fast. Just inside the body cavity Just now. into the body cavity now. I'm gonna look inside with the otoscope which is what a, a doctor would use to look in your ears, for instance. Do you have any sense for whether this is a male or a female? I do now. <laughs> There's eggs inside the otoscope. This fish is um, likely to spawn this year. Oh, my wow, goodness. that's amazing. I, I would. That answers one question for me. Wow. The sturgeon here are generating eggs. Fish. I would not have suspected it. There's so many eggs in there, I can't see more than about a centimeter. This is great. The team will now tag her with an electronic transmitter so they can track her during spawning to learn if and where she deposits her eggs. So this is a, a, a sonic tag, and th this tag has a life of about 10 years. These are long-lived fish, Zeb, and we will get a lot of That's information great. on it. I can see that she's still breathing strong. Her gills are moving, so the tag's in. Just suture it up, suture her up, and uh, get her back in the river. You look like you know what you're doing. So do you do humans too, or just fish? <laughs> Zeb, you want to release it? Yeah, I'd love to. I think I think she's uh, still has she's some ready energy to, to yeah. be released. Yeah. Oh, she's ready to go. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, it's a little bit tired now. Just try to get a little bit of uh, uh, oxygen through its gills. It's just a beautiful fish, and I think she's ready to go. 
So I guess it's time to say goodbye. See if we can get her to swim away. Wow, there she goes. Look at that. <laughs>